What's up, gamers? Today, I'm going to take you and teach you and show you the ways of the great diver to get sunken bones and koi fish scales if you do not know. And if you do know, watch anyway. You might learn something. Who knows? Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, and I will show you guys what I am taking with me here. Very minimal stuff. Um, so we are going to need a black ant shovel, or, or not a black ant shovel, just an acorn shovel will do perfectly fine. That's what you're going to need to harvest the sunken bones and the koi fish scales. Next, I always bring my tools with me for no reason other than just to never leave home without your tools. Uh, we are going to need a dagger of some sort, uh, whether it is the the spider dagger, the widow dagger, the bone dagger, whichever you got. Obviously, you don't have the bone dagger yet or you wouldn't be here. But you're also going to want a torch. You can have the Everchar torch if you have that unlocked. If not, get the slime torches. Those will work as well. Uh, the torches are just going to make your life a whole lot easier because you can't really see too well down there. Um, you can take any any one of these items with you to help you further, you know, breathe for longer here. We've got the tapi tapioca pudding, uh, which... Uh, <clears throat> is going to give us veteran diver and swim speed for a certain duration. Uh, and then we're also going to have fluid flippers as well as liquid gills. So that's really going to help us stay down there for quite some time. I don't know exactly what pen it goes as, as well with this uh, little underwater build as anything. So I'm just taking Thor's pendant with me uh, because of the health regen. Hopefully help us uh, regenerate back up if we get attacked by any diving bell spiders. Uh, we're going to go with the bubble helmet. You could go with the gill. I got the bubble helmet all the way up to level 9 sleek, and it's going to give us veteran diver and hyper stamina, so we're going to be able to breathe a lot underwater for a very long time. Uh, if you want uh, more stamina, I chose the grub vest, level 9 sleek as well. We get max stamina and hyper stamina from the grub vest, as well as the plus fin flops, which are going to give us swim speed and sprint distance for the sleek. I'm not really sure why I went to sleek for sprint distance, but... It's all good. I don't know. But uh, we're going to get into it, guys. Where we're going to want to head to to get to the sunken bones and koi fish scales is right here. You don't, you probably don't have this waypoint uh, learned yet, but more or less this is where it's going to be at. So we've got the big uh, bird fountain gazebo thing over here, uh, and it's going to be right to the side of that. We're going to see some cordage wrapping around going down inside the hole, and uh, we're going to go ahead, ahead and head there now. Now, the koi fish scales and the sunken bones are going to allow you to craft different kinds of things, such as the koi fish armor, which is really good if you struggle with parrying. It also has good defense for a tier 2 armor. Um, very, very good armor set. It allows you, it, it, it allows you to have a bigger block window uh, if you're not super good at perfect blocking. So you can get your three-piece koi fish set. That's a really good early game armor. Uh, and then you're also going to be able to craft your bone trident and your bone dagger, uh, which you will, I believe, that will be your first tier two dagger that you can get. So you're going to need that for some things. And uh, you're also going to get the ability to unlock... Uh, here, hold on, let me see real quick. So sunken bones. Um, the rusty spear you're going to need sunken bones for as well later in the end game. Uh, which is the spear I chose to bring with me for fighting off the spiders and everything else down here. So we're going to pull our torch out. We are going to chug a lug, chug a lug here. Going to consume the liquid gills and the fin flippers as well as the tad pioca pudding. And we've got our armor on. We're ready to go in. And that's going to give us 700, holy smoke, 700 seconds of underwater breathing. Good God. All right, so if you guys don't know, you don't have all this extra stuff, you can run into these air bubbles, and that's going to give you, uh, that's going to refill your oxygen. Uh, you can also, you can also, uh, to refill your oxygen, kill uh, diving bell spiders. So if you end up running in a tight spot. Uh, so right here is going to be where the sunken bones are. You're just going to take your shovel and smack the, sh smack the sunken bones and the koi fish scales, just kind of... Uh, you know, look around. Keep an eye on your oxygen. If you're if you're getting too low, uh, you can go catch you catch you one of those bubbles. Probably a pretty good idea. Uh, but yeah, this is this is pretty much how you get them, guys. They're going to be all over the place on this side. And then uh, once you venture your way over to complete the pond lab, uh, you're going to see more along the way. Let's see here. 
Yep, so there's going to be more here. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> now, if you block directly after you... If you block directly after your shovel hits something, you can you can go in real quick for a second attack. So if you try that out, uh, more or less canceling your extra swing. And uh, we are going to... Man, we're finding quite a bit, actually. This is great. All right, so five sunken bones so far. <clears throat> Keeping our eye out for more. Here we go. There's another one. With the slime torch, you're definitely going to be able to see, or with the Everchar torch, whichever you've got, uh, you're definitely going to be able to see pretty much everything down here, so that will help. Okay, let's see how many we end up gathering up here. Should be quite a bit, really. 700 seconds of underwater breathing time with all the buffs and everything. My goodness. <clears throat> That's a lot, dude. We could be down here forever. We could be down here forever, and then all we have to do is take a breath. That's all we'll have to do is just take a breath, and we'll be back fine. Apparently, there's a scabby around here that I need to uh, locate. I'll worry about that later. Okay, there's another one. That's nine, nine koi fish scales so far. And there's another sunken bone there. Uh, keeping a lookout. There we go. There's some more. There's also going to be more tucked away back here in the back corner. Just going to literally just show you every place that there's going to be sunken bones. So right back here. So just to get a better look at where I'm at right now, we're back here in this hole. Very dark, mysterious hole back here. There is some diving bell spiders back here that you might have to worry about. I mean, obviously you're going to be having to worry about a lot of them while you're down here, but... Uh, you know, I haven't actually ran into any yet, so that's good. But it won't be long until I do, I'm sure. And we'll just pull out the spear and take care of them. But yeah, see, there's a bunch. There's a ton of sunken bones. Ton of bones, ton of koi fish scales. This will be way more than enough to get you started. Uh, you know, just you just got to keep an eye on your... Uh... Hey, look, science. I like it. You just got to keep an eye on your oxygen. And here we go. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. They've got one attack. You just have to be able to block it. it. Sometimes can prove to be difficult. But more or less just do it right after their little groan noise. Just like that. And you should be good to go. Alright, let's make sure there's not any more down here. I don't believe I see any more. And see, when you kill that, when you kill those diving bells, it refills your oxygen as well, so... It's not a completely bad idea to take them out. They're a little hard to block, plus you are fighting, like, super weird. Which does not help at all. Okay. Looks like we got everything, guys. Let's go. All right, we wound up with 13 scales and 15 sunken bones, which is a pretty good haul, honestly. Uh, another place you're going to find sunken bones is in treasure chests that you're going to find in the sandbox and in the charcoal pit. Uh, you'll see the little sparklies, and you got to dig up the dig up the chests, and that will uh, that'll get you that'll get you some more. I want to see what, real fast what this. Uh, wait, is that the place I just? Okay, maybe I've never been over here. I guess there's a separate way down here if you if you really want to. Uh, where does this bring us out at? Oh, look, science. More science! All right, guys. If this video helped you out at all, man, uh, please do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can catch me. I'm uploading three or four grounded videos a day, and I don't plan on stopping no time soon. So get your fix in with see-through with the grounded. Let's go, baby. Uh, and make sure every night you check us out live on Twitch. The, twi the link will be in the description. Come give us a follow over on the Twitch. Uh, the streams are always popping and full of energy and hypeness and positive vibes. So come over and hang out with us, guys. Greatly appreciate everyone's support here. And uh, yeah, here's another video you might like. If you don't like that one, like I said, come watch us live on Twitch. Every night. Come. Come now.
Come now. <laughs> Peace.